in good shape. Your weekly dose of health information on Deutsche Welle. Find out more about what's new in medical treatment, alternative medicine, as well as nutrition, wellness, and beauty. Medical professionals, therapists, and counselors are in our studio to offer their expert advice on in good shape. With me in the studio now is Dr. Horst Lübert. He's a gynecologist and hormone specialist and the former head of the Department for Gynecological Endocrinology at the Charité Hospital in Berlin. Professor, welcome to the show. How dangerous is it to take the pill? I mean, some um, contraceptives were removed from the market in France not long ago. Well, there's one major concern of women uh, due to the media also, that women who have an increased genetic risk for thrombosis, they should abstain from the pill. Mm -hmm. And there are other groups like women who are heavily overweight, they have a major risk. And another important factor is increasing age is steeply also increasing the risk of thromboembolism. And those groups should not take the pill at all? Right. Every a woman that is prescribed a pill should give a very thorough personal history um, to the doctor um, or he should ask about it before prescribing an estrogen containing pill. So it's all about estrogen, but there are different right. hormones in the pill. It's not just estrogen, is it? Right. The, uh, the evil in the pill um, concerning thromboembolism is the estrogen. You could freely prescribe an estrogen-free free contraceptive pill or any kind of hormonal contraception that does not contain an estrogen. And there you're pretty safe of not increasing the risk. So, so that means if I've got a patient who is smoking, for instance, should I advise her to go on a estrogen-free pill? Correct. Especially if she is uh, above 35 years of age or getting older and you want to keep giving that pill or she wants it, then you should indeed um, recommend to take a progestogen-only contraceptive. Is there anything else I can tell my patients besides taking a special kind of pill, like drinking a lot of water when taking a flight? Yes. Um, well, if you sweat a lot and your blood is concentrating, then um, and you're not drinking enough, then you increase your risk. But also um, remind your patients about moving, for example, if they go on a long trip, in an intercontinental flight that they should get up and move their legs. Mm -hmm. Professor Lubert, can hormones really slow the aging process? They can do some good for the women concerning major, uh, mainly the bone, mm -hmm. the skin, hair and teeth. These are the organs that really um, depend a lot on estrogens and so you could if you want to say, delay aging uh, for these organs. So, and, and what about well-being? So, just feeling fitter? Feeling, when as far as uh, sometimes, you know, sweating at night makes you disturb your sleep, or if you have uh, hot flushes uh, during the day, um, that can disturb you very much, and your well-being is really uh, deteriorating sometimes if you have that. And, and do people feel older when they don't take hormones? Yes, sometimes I, from my personal experience, I can see women when they stop estrogens, they come back and say, could I start again? I was feeling much better when I was taking them. That happens, yes. Yeah, th this is true for women who are on estrogen, but there are also men who are taking hormones. Our viewer Farhan Jabba from Australia is taking hormones um, for sports reason. He just wants some muscle mass to, to build itself while bodybuilding. From the standpoint of an endocrinologist, um, would you say this is okay to take some hormones for muscle growth? No, we would strongly recommend against that. And uh, this is kind of doping and uh, the risk that you're inducing is that um, blood clots form more easily because the red blood cells have increased in number. And um, that's why blood clots happen, for example, in the coronary arteries and you get a myocardial infarction.
So it's really risky to take those hormones just for sport reasons. It is, yes. Okay. Going back to menopause, menopausal women who are undergoing hormonal replacement therapy have sometimes been taking hormones for years. But there's evidence that this replacement therapy itself may be dangerous to the women's health. Professor Lubert, what's the recent, uh, recent research suggest with all those dangers, cancers? Well, the main worry of women is does it increase breast cancer risk? Right. And I think there, women are over-worried. Um, if there is a woman with a normal basal risk, not an increased risk, then you could tolerate a treatment if you have climacteric symptoms for up to five years without really increasing the risk. That is the present information that we get from all those big studies. So this means if you take the period of hormones, the women take short than like five years, you should be on the safe side. You are more or less on the safe side under the condition that the basic risks of breast cancer, uh, breast cancer is okay and you don't have an increased risk for stroke or myocardial infarction. Mm -hmm. That's also very important. And in my office, many women don't want to take hormones at all because of this study. And we got a viewer question, Judith Santos from the US state of Tennessee. She wants to know, um, are there any advantages not to take hormones? Well, the, the funny thing is, if you are pretty healthy and you are maybe between 50 and 60 and you take hormones, then you protect your heart. Healthy women have an advantage. Unhealthy women take a big risk. So, so it's not even not only safe to take hormones over this five-year period, but it's better to take them than to skip them concerning certain organs, concerning may, mainly the heart. We believe, and there is good evidence, that initiating hormone therapy uh, at an early post-menopausal age does do good to your heart. And, and what about all those alternative medical things like plant-based diets or like, like plant medicine things uh, not to take hormones? They cannot compete. Uh, those uh, phytohormones, plant hormones, they cannot compete with those hormones that are given in Uh, hormonal uh, re replacement therapy. Even in treating hot flashes? Even in that respect. Estrogens, there's nothing better than estrogens. Mo nothing more effective. So if you've got a patient with hot flashes, all those climacteric problems and symptoms, what should they do? Just go and see the gynecologist? They should uh, get the advice from your, his, her gynecologist and really do a individual risk profile of all these important diseases. Yeah myocardial infarction, breast cancer, stroke. So it's all about the risk and then ask your doctor. Now ask the risk and then do it. <laughs> Thanks so much for being in the studio. Thank you. Okay.